Hey everyone and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am doing a little something different. Uh, yep, I'm not out in my studio, I'm not pouring paint, but there has been on the acrylic pouring group a new app being shared by some of you amazing phenomenal creators. And um, so I just wanted to give you a few hints and tips and show you what I've been playing with on it and see if I can assist you. Now, the um, the app that I'm going to be using is Android only and there is another app available uh, that's on iPhone and uh, I will find that for you. It will be here. <laughs> but the one we're using is, I'm on mirror, that way, um, in the top, oh, under the time, wherever that is on your screen. <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> um, for me, my screen is here. So I have my phone plugged in and instead of you getting this really fugly um, view of my screen and me having to hold it here and try and work it and blah 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 which as you could just see if this is what I'm seeing on my screen is mirrored so when I go to swish my hair that way um, and I look in the I go like that and push my hair the wrong way so <laughs> How does it get any better than that? Whatever. Here is not relevant. Um, some of you are already going, oh my god, I can't cope with this woman. Alright, see ya. But we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna open up Mirror Lab. So Mirror Lab is what it is called in Android. It's the one I'm gonna be showing you how to use anyway. There may be other apps out there, and if you know of one and you really like it, please put it in the comments below. I can at least tell which way's up and which way's down in the comments below. Um, I'd love to have a play with other apps as well. And the one, and I will also tell you what the iPhone one is that's been recommended in the group. So, when I open up Mirror Lab, I already have this, um, this thing this picture. This is one of my paintings from a while ago. It's a sold painting, so don't go saying, oh, can I own that? No, you can't, sorry. It lives in Whangarei now. Um, so this is a painting, a photo of a painting, all right? And if we zoom it in, you can see it, it's got some pretty cool cells in there. So what can we do with this? There's so many different things that this app can do. And if you look down the bottom there, there's some presets. And oh my goodness, all of a sudden it looks like a branch in a lake. How cool is that? Um, so we can just go through and have a look at what the presets are. And um, that's what it would have looked like if I'd printed it into a cabochon. That's pretty cool. Um, that has played with the colors. That's called Candyland. I'm not sure how you get Candyland out of that. But anyway, this is a deconstruction. Wow, weird, right? Now, this is starting to look a little bit um, like what you can see in the some of the pictures that we've been sh people have been sharing. Um, and I will show you how to do that in a minute. And then, you know, there's all sorts of different ones. And then you get to the, my favourite, the kaleidoscope. What does it look like through a rainy day? That's weird. Okay. There's all sorts of things that you can do. But let's get out of that and actually have a look at how to do this yourself rather than relying on the presets. Because the presets are quick easy simple and meh um <laughs> so i'm going to go across this bottom panel 
and just show you some of some of the things that are in there not all of them um, but first of all I'm gonna no I'm not change that idea we're gonna go to my favorite and that's the complex there it looks like a pie right and automatically it puts it into a kaleidoscope and if you if you've been following me on Instagram then you will have seen some of these um, Mickey art on Instagram if you want to come and play with me over there um, but basically all this does is it's been set to if I click on that count button there it's been set to having six different segments and you can change the number of segments so there you go there's two that just basically mirrors it or you can go up to a thousand and that kind of disappears into bizarreness right um, just so that you know when you're looking at what I'm doing on screen over here <laughs> um, if you see a dot show up that's where I've touched the screen if you see two dots and dragging together then that means I'm using the pinch see how one's moving in and out so, and I'm moving in and out okay so that's look at where the dots are to see where I'm pointing if I forget to mention it with my words so let's bring that back down to something that's actual, actually seeable as you can imagine, you can start making some pretty funky mandalas with this. Um, so let's go back to six because I like six, it's easier. Um, and you can see, see there that it's divided into six segments. You've got six points, you've got six replications of it. And if I just use, if I use two fingers and do the pints, I can zoom in, let it go, and it will readjust. Sometimes the data is a little bit slow. And you can actually start to see some of the paint definition in that. Zoom in some more, and it's really starting to get quite close. And it's literally just a zoom of this bigger picture. And the more I zoom out, The more intense it gets it's a bit like going up to a thousand repetitions it's just a little bit too much guys so let's come back down and you might be out wondering where is these white triangle bits come from if we go back to the picture it's the top and bottom it's the bits that aren't the painting because it doesn't distinguish um, so the, they can end up looking quite cool as part of your painting um, but you may not want that that's quite pretty I like that so that's where that crop that I was going to show you before comes in scroll back across and go crop and then I can just move these little outside lines in so that we don't have any of that whiteness and go tick this little red dot is to do with the app that allows me to video this <laughs> so um so now if i go back and go into that complex when we zoom out we don't get any of those white bits because they've been cut out of the picture so and then if I just use one finger and just move it around a little bit basically I'm taking the photo and moving it around and it's changing what the kaleidoscope sees remember when you were a kid and you had one of those little cardboard things and it had beads in the end and you turned it and you got the kaleidoscopic effect that's exactly what you're doing here you use one finger and that turns 
cool is this? I have had so much fun with this. Can, um, really, guys, it is so much fun. Um, and the other thing you can do is you can change the angle of the dangle. That's really pretty. I'm gonna. So I really like this. What I'm gonna do? See over on the right hand side. Um, there's a grey right over on the far side. A grey box. And I'm going to turn it off. Now the grey box is gone and that means that I can, it just clips it at what I'm seeing, okay. But I can zoom right in, look you can see paint texture there, and move around and it stops it from changing. Okay, so I can go in and have a really nice look. Do I like this? Do I want to keep this? Turn it back off again. And I've got my zooming capacities again. All right. Does that make sense? I hope. If you're not following me, just turn the app on and have a play, guys. This is the fun thing about apps, and this this one especially, you can't ruin it. Because I'm just going to go out of it, go back into it, and play around a little bit okay now let's say I find something that I really like and I like that and I zoom out a bit and I can see that yes I like that and I like that as I can see it on the screen that's what I want to capture so I click save now if I go into my images that I can look at, oops, there's my son, I want to go to images, not camera, and see how it's made a file called mirror lab at the top there on the left. If I click on that, here's some of the images that I've created with this, and there's that one I just saved. And now if I want to be really weird, I can go in there and I can do a thingy what's it with that one <laughs> but I don't want to um, so there we have that image so that's the kaleidoscope I'm not going to play anymore with that go on and play with it. it just play with all the settings have fun with it you can distort things using there you go there's that um, lake ripples so it looks like a sun rising up out of the <laughs> You can do all sorts of weird, swirly things. Play with it. Um, so that's the distort one. Quad is literally, you just multiply it. It just duplicates like that, right? Um, two of them, three of them. Doesn't seem to be changing, does it? Anyway, so let's say we're on the quad and we want to flip one side. Oh, it's not going to really show on this one. Let's go back and grab a different image for this. Okay, see the second one down on the left? That was done by flipping one side using that system. Yeah. I'm rambling and I'm confusing myself. So let's carry on. You've got polar, so it does weird stuff again. Um, pulling it into the middle. <laughs> you see how I got lost in this? <laughs> it's so easy. Um, this one goes the other way. It comes out at you. Um, I'm not sure what that one does. It does weird. Oh, oh, I see what it's done. It's created a spiral getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Do you see? If not, don't worry. 
Um, there is a paid version of this app and there's other settings that you can get. Uh, oh, that's cool. That Spiral D would be fun. But you have to have the paid version for that. So let's get back out of that. Let's go to break. What does break do? It kind of overlays something. Okay. It's so like you're looking through a broken glass. See? Not my favorite. What else have we got? Fractal. Whoa, dude. Check that out, man. Trippin'. <laughs> That's weird. That is really weird. Kind of funky. Can't really tell. Okay. Next. Cut out. This is quite a fun, funky one. It kind of gives you a a border look like it's um, and you can turn the shadow um, change the shadow amount of like the background sh being shadowed out, shadowed out see that's got no shadow and it gets dark the shadow caused by the okay so there's all sorts of settings that you can go in and play on this one is just trippy. Don't like this one. And then you can move it around so that it's just odd. The Love Heart one's quite cute. I like that one. If you've got the right thing in there, it can be a bit too busy. Looks like the top of a latte. <laughs> anyway, playtime. Then we've got this one. Now this one is the one that you will have seen the girls making the flowers um, with this app. And it just kind of takes all the lines and goes puh, puh, and stretches them all out. Um, look at this. It's just funky. Let it reevaluate itself. See, it's taken all those lines, all the lines from the painting, and kind of made them look like it, the paint splashing up. It's just funky. <laughs> um, oh, you can change the color. That's weird. Oh, that's actually getting rid of the color. What else can you do? Change how much you can see. Okay, so then they've got this, that triangle. Use a different finger, Michelle. That's a bit rude. The triangle right here. That's intensity. And you can dial it back or dial it up and make it more stretched and spiky. Woohoo! Check that out. Whoa! Have so much fun with this. That is really weird. As I was moving it, it kind of almost looked like a daffodil, but then once it rendered in, intense baby. And then you can go to the minus, you can take it backwards, backwards through the matrix. So forwards takes you up and backwards. Oh, okay. So the forwards one takes the dark colours backwards and the light colours makes them flare up. Whereas into the minus intensities brings the dark colours forward. So check the difference between minus three and plus three. You see how the dark colors have disappeared and the light colors have come forward and I just you know 
slide that across back down to zero. That's what it looks like at zero. But then we minus it out. And that's pretty cool. Oops. That really takes... Oh, wow. I want to show you this but Ah, no. I don't want to tilt it. Ah, what had happened? This bit up here. I don't know if you can see this as clearly as me, but it looks... <laughs> uh, that bit. Oh, where am I? There. Can't actually get my finger to go overlay and show you the... <laughs> That top bit, it looks like um, the top of a Chinese temple or some sort of, uh, yeah, that's cool. I like it. So, because I like that bit, because I want to save it, I just hit the save button at the top there. Save. And then I can... Increase the intensity more. It's sitting on top of the cloud glowing, that looks like. That's amazing. Save that one too. Alright. What do I want to do? I want to... Turn that off. And... Move that. Let's look at that bit. So, guys, this has all come from those weird um, that weird painting that I did. I've tutted with it, and then I'm just playing with all the different settings. The one thing that I will say: if you go, "Wow, I like that," hit the save button, please. <laughs> you'll never ever 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 get it back <laughs> the number of times i've gone oh that's stunning and then i've gone mm -mm, no no can't get it back again i try and try and try and try and try anyway so that's back to that that was the what we were working from and we created that one From, from images, camera, no, images, that camera, no, but okay, so if you guys are watching my video and you're not an acrylic pourer and you don't have any of these cool things, you can actually do this. Let's go right back into here. See, I've been clicking the gallery button in the top left hand corner. Right next to it is a camera button. Watch this. I want to show you something. Oops, I don't want the selfie. Let's turn it around. There's my keyboard, okay? Let's get a clear picture of it. Come on. Alright, let's take a photo of that. And go back into the app. Yes, okay, I like that one. And now do a complex. How weird is that? Funky, weird, odd. All right, let's capture that. This is kind of fun. And now we are going to pull that up out of our gallery. There it is. And we're going to go over to Alchemy and see what we can do with the intensity. Is it going to change anything? Not 
not really. Kind of makes it a bit wobbly. Render, render, render. Wow! How different is that? <laughs> so that, guys, I created from that photo of my keyboard in two steps. And I don't need to know how it was done. I don't need to know what made it, how it was. But there you go. There's a kapow for a cartoon. I mean, <laughs> it's just so cool. I like it so much. I'm going to save that kapow. Who knows when I might need it again. So, what else can we do with the camera? Let's take a photo of me taking a photo. <laughs> yes, let's use that one. Let's see what we can create. How does it get any better than that? <laughs> but I pull it out a bit. It does get better. I get love hearts. Look at that. It's so pretty. Alright. See? It's easy. And all it takes, that's my hair making that black ring. That's so funny. Ooh. Now we've got something pretty. That could be fun to use somewhere, couldn't it? Oops, go away. So guys, there you go. How much fun can you have sticking your tongue out <laughs> in a hundred different ways? <laughs> have you ever wondered how they do these effects? That it's, you know, really? That's how they do it. It's a pinching. Oop, I've got, ooh, I've got far too many eyes in that one. Eek. What's my, I've got far too many tongues in that one. <laughs> Uh, uh, I do prefer this kaleidoscope. I really, there's something about the kaleidoscope thing that just, that's weird. Okay. Sometimes when you zoom out, you get, you get something that's pretty cool on the inside. Oh, look, that's eyes. <gasps> oh, that could be quite ghoulish. Let's change the angle. There you go. Suddenly it doesn't look ghoulish at all. How's it get any better than that? Anyway, guys, as you can see, I have been having a lot of fun with this. Um, I'm going to save that one because it's cool. And then I'm going to go bring that one back in. It's so hard. Can you see how hard it is? And let's do that. What's this generate thing do? Oh, it just generates nothing. Noise. Alright. Alchemy. There we go. We're starting to get some interesting shapes. That's pretty. That's kind of super pretty. What do you reckon? That's from a photo of me. I dare you, even if you're the most technophobic person, if you have an Android and it's got a little bit of data space, like hard drive space, Download this app and have a play. It's super fun. Highly recommend it. And um, I tell you what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to... Let's see. How do, how do I do this? Screen, share, add...
window capture. That's what I want. And I want to capture Chrome that one, I think. Now, where is it? Ah, the joys of me. Here we go. This is what I've been playing with. Um, so, go. check these out. These are all made from this is in rageon.com. It is a print on demand clothing um, store. And I created, let me send that into there. In, in this app, I created a image using exactly what I've just taught you how to do. Let me find it. See how much fun I've been having. This is just super cool. Um, bum, 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 bum. I've got to find it now. It's so far down here. One of the first ones I did. Oh my, there it is. Look. So I made this image. And then I've gone into Ray John, and there's all sorts of different places that you can be playing on here. Um, you can be playing on um, Redbubble. You can play on anywhere. You could use these images on Vistaprint and print yourself out some business cards. You know, how much fun can you have with it, guys? But I've taken this image that you can see on my phone, plugged it into Redbubble, and all these different t-shirts, um, they do, I haven't, oh, I'm clicking on the recording device, I haven't um, gone in and tutted with how these lay out, but look, I could print socks with that design on, how cool is that? Um, and the edit these shoes and I can just drag the image over and they will print these shoes look at them they're cool you'd want to own those wouldn't you ah <laughs> oh, I tell you what I've been having so much fun I'm a little bit behind painting at the moment, so I need to get out into the gallery in the morning and get that all sorted. Um, but I could put that, can make it bigger. Look, I could get this bigger. Maybe I just want. fun <laughs> but don't don't you do it because that that would just be you know too much fun for some people some people can't handle that much fun you move the picture around I think I like it like that better and then save it whoop, whoop. Oops, failed. All right, anyway, that's enough of that. Let's um, get you out of there so you can see me and I can say, Mwah, I adore you. Go play. And you know what? Acrylic pouring for fun is all about pouring and having fun with pouring. And yes, there are other Facebook groups that are about after the pour, which probably more relevant for this sort of stuff 
but because I'm doing a video on it, you're more than welcome to share. Just make sure in the thing you put that you've used an app to create this from one of your pores and maybe share the photo from your pore that you started with and what you've created with it as what you're sharing so that we all get to see how much fun you're having creating with your pores and um, what magic you're creating because honestly you, you guys just look at what I've created as I scroll through some of these images um, that I mean I've, I've created all those on the video today um, <laughs> my son is now tall enough to put his chin on his grandmother's head she's not very impressed I really like these ones look at this how cool is that now that's taken of a photo from my son um, and he was running some healing when he was about eight he was running some healing on his teddy bear that's so cute um, so you know I've created all of these and you can kind of tell which ones have been made all from the same thing. All these ones here are all from that one. And oops, we've changed to something else. A new creation. Now that those ones there are all made from a couple of the cabochons that I've painted recently. Um, it just... It, it's... It's so much fun. Oh my goodness. This one here was quite funky, I remember. It kind of looks a bit like bacon. <laughs> yes, we've had enough already. It's time for me to go. I adore you. I will see you all in another video. And yes, I will be back painting. Um, but go forth and have fun. Go forth and create some magic for you and your body and what if you being you and having fun is the gift that will create the change you desire to see in the world. I adore you all.